Hi, I'm Vanessa DeBerle and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how to actually create a timestamp on your video that will help you get more views. Last week I made a video about what that timestamp was and why you want to use it and how it helps with keyword search. Today I promised you a video on exactly how to make the timestamp. Before we jump in, I want to welcome you to my channel where I teach you how to turn your passion into profit. Watch my videos and I'll give you tips and tricks on how to grow your channel, how to start a channel, and all kinds of things that are going to help that new YouTuber. Without further ado, let's jump in and get started. I want to start out ex by explaining to you what a timestamp is and why it's so important. I just randomly googled how to play the guitar for beginners and typically when you google that you'll see some ads come up, some blogs, and some videos. Well notice now let's scroll down there's a video but look right here I asked about guitar playing for beginners and this little clip or chapter in the video specifically answers my question I probably would want to watch the whole video but if I'm really in a hurry and I have a really specific question I can jump in and go right to where that little clip is and watch it from there I don't have to watch the whole video here are some others below this is there's 10 key moments in this video that I might be interested in that might help answer my question this is a new algorithm that YouTube has it's really changes things before we were used to just making sure that our keywords were in our title in our description and then we did the we added keywords to the video itself now you can put timestamps on there and actually lead people into your video right there where the clip is and I'm going to show you how I did one on my video here uh, this is what I'm going to show you how to do today but you see here this is where I added my timestamps and this is what it looks like when somebody pulls up the video now this one hasn't been processed yet uh, it's it's scheduled as of today as of me making this but if you go down here to show more you can see that these timestamps are active so while somebody might say I want to look for a new algorithm hack in 2021 the video may come up but let's go down here where I said what is a timestamp I answer that question in the video so that person even though that's not in the title would be present it with my video to help answer that question so it makes it more searchable I think this is really something that's really important to do especially if you're a small youtuber because it's going to give you more skin in the game if that makes sense so let's jump in and I'll show you exactly how I add that timestamp to my video the first thing you need to do if you already have a video uploaded and you want to add the timestamp you want to go to your content tab on the side and then go under edit I pulled this one up to edit I just grabbed one that I had and I just went in here right after my description put some spaces in called it timestamp now this is really important the very first thing that you want to put in every single video is zero 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 intro if you don't do that it will not activate it so make sure you have it there I actually have it saved in, as my default in my description default so that it's there automatically to remind me every video I make going forward will have this timestamp now how do I put that timestamp in well you want to come over here and open the video in another tab and then I want to pull that tab down and I'm going to create a split screen so as I'm watching the video on the right side and I'm not going to do that now because you don't want to listen to two videos at once but as I'm watching it if I see key moments if there's a question that can be answered okay so I pull up both the video on the right hand side of the screen and my editing on the left side and what I want to do is start watching the video and when I see a key question being answered then I want to type it over here so let's say that um, there we go let's let's say uh, that after I have the intro I started talking about what is I'm, I'm making this up but let's say that at zero one 24 let's put that one minute 24 seconds I answer the question what is a what is parlor this was a tutorial about parlor and some badges so I might have answered the question what is parlor later on in the video I might have answered I might have given some examples of parlor badges and so forth maybe I answered the question how to get verified examples of different badges I might have um, just different things and every single searchable thing 
that I say in that video that I think people might ask those questions, you want to put it on your timestamp. The timestamp isn't just for people to open it up and not watch your video and go down there and pop in where they want. They can, that's what I thought it was, but they also, YouTube will pick this up in the algorithms and help your video get searched. So it's just another opportunity for you to grow your channel and to get more views, but you have to take the time to really think about what am I saying in the video and is it something that people might be asking? Sure, I could just go over here and say, um, parlor is blah 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 but that's not really answering a question people are going to say they're going to google what is parlor and that's what i want to put on my timestamp. i want to think from a, from the perspective of the person that's looking for something not from my perspective of how i'm offering it so think of your audience and not of yourself from that angle and come up with terms timestamps. they're also called chapters that will answer those questions now let's go back to the one that i already made last week and i think this is really neat as i was watching right here you see it um, at 0 0.18 right there the zero to eight to 18 is the intro see that it also labels it the timestamp is there let's go up here you can see these little clips and where they're broken apart or chapters right here it answers what is a timestamp? you can go further but see it's it's even in the video as you're playing so that also helps a person see what questions are being answered i just think this is changes things if you've not been using them i highly recommend it it's going to change how many views you're going to get it's going to make you have more exposure more keywords and hopefully help your channel to grow all right hopefully that was helpful for you if you have any questions and you needed more information go ahead and put those in the comments below if this was something that helped give me a like and thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video